All right, I had trippers of Washington by way of Princeton. Yeah, All right. Um, made it to the final. How'd you feel today? Yeah, uh, the goal is always just make it. Uh, I felt pretty good. Um, was not sure how the heat would go, just because uh, Duncan and Hamilton has obviously run really fast this season, but this year he had a teammate in the heat, so like I kind of figured it would be best for his teammate for him to just run a little slower and keep his teammate in it. So I was prepared for that, but uh, yeah, made it through comfortably and felt good, so happy to move on. And, you know, you've been to the Olympics. I assume you want to go to Worlds this year, but like, is NCAAs the number one goal, or like, what's the number one goal for someone who's from like overseas? Yeah, I think I've been in the NCAA long enough and made a few teams. Uh, I'd love to win a title, that's obviously always a goal. And uh, Worlds in the Olympics kind of comes later, especially this year, it's mid to late August. So it kind of gives me time to like reset off the NCAAs and then like move forward and shoot for that. So um, Andy's been super focused on just getting us ready for NCAAs right now. And then once this is done, we'll look at the Worlds. Yeah. And is this your last year of eligibility? This is it, one race left. <laughs> so have you thought about, you know, any, anybody, whether you're an athlete or not in yeah. college, you're in college, it's like some people plan out ahead, some people don't want to think about it. Have you thought about yeah, what's next? Yeah. I think a mixture of both, like I've thought about it, but at the same time, like the goal is just run as well as you can at NCAAs, and so you can't get too caught up in what's ahead, but uh, the nice thing is the Washington team has so many guys graduating in a similar position, so um, we're kind of all in it together, which kind of makes it a little easier, because I feel like the process is a little bit daunting sometimes, is like, what's next after college, so um, I've definitely thought about it, but as of right now, like, had no conversations or anything too serious. So it's a little bit more complicated there for you because you got to figure out which country to live in, right? Yeah, yeah. There's definitely a bit of that, but uh, just focus on NCAs now, then focus on worlds, and then worry about all that sort of stuff later. So you know, last year, well, oftentimes the steeple final is pretty fast. Do you think it's going to be a fast final, or what are you expecting? Um, honestly, I, I don't know. The thing is, uh, it's an outside pit, and Austin's hot, obviously. So. I don't know if it's like perfect conditions to run a fast time, but at the same time, like I think I had to go well in a slow race or a fast race, so I'm kind of ready for either. Yeah. So you think an outside pit is slower than an inside pit? Explain I that. Think so well, so an inside pit, you get 200 meters, 230 meters at the start before a hurdle, um, which kind of gives you a bit of time to get going, um, and it also. I think like a lot of inside pits are on straights, so you can kind of square up and hit the water pit a little better. Whereas the outside pit, you hit on a turn and you hit a hurdle like super quickly. So uh, I think an inside pit is a bit faster. Really? So how how long is the is the first hurdle on the outside pit? Uh, it's it's uh, like 50 meters or something. So it's always chaotic. You just got to get over the first hurdle cleanly and then worry about the race after that. Okay. And I coach. People chase it for 10 years, didn't even know that. But hey, it was almost always an inside pit, so I didn't yeah, worry about yeah. it. I grew up, my home track in Sydney has an outside pit, so it's kind of what I like, grew up racing on. So I'm fairly used So to it's an advantage for you to have that. Sure, yeah. All right, well, good luck in the final. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks.